How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of stout time in the form of Highland Brew Cubbies Black Mocha Stout. Um, first things first. This beer comes courtesy of Jim. Thank you very much, brother. Um, he sent me off a box of North Carolina beers uh, just before I moved. I've been slowly working through them. It's been kind of like weird, kind of running around, um, you know, from place to place, having a longer commute to work. So it's actually taken me way too long to get through the beers that he sent me. So hopefully you have good patience out there, brother. But I'm getting through them. I believe actually this is the last one, though. No, might be. Might be one more. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to pull them all up in a series, maybe a, a couple, one over two days or, or all of them over a couple days. And, uh, yeah, kind of excited to give it a whirl because I want myself a beast out. That's what this looks like. Let's find out. Uh, let's see. Highland Brew Company, Asheville, North Carolina, back Black Mocha Stout. Um, on the side here, it says, Highland's Most Robust Beer is a big award-winning, uh, a big, w let me rewind restart that highlands most robust beer is its biggest award winner uh relish in a very multi-body with rich toasted and bitter chocolate flavors expertly drawn from dark roasted barley black in color and clean finish in moderate hop flavor five percent alcohol by volume so just a smaller stout based out actually what stouts kind of used to be um outside of imperial stouts so yeah it was it's all right you know it's kind of got that celtic kind of vibe thing i'm not a big celtic artwork kind of guy but Hey, there's beer inside. Works for me. So let's not try to chop a finger off here. Take this little swish army knife and open this beer. And it's like, oh, that is not the bottle opener, is it? That is some kind of other thing. I don't know what I did with my uh, my handy handy bottle opener. I think I was uh, we're having a, a little bonfire the other night. I think I brought it with me out there. I'm going to have to track her down. Give her a rough pour. She's not going to generate much head. Um, what do we have here? Cola. Looks like cola. It's got a big, rich darkness to it, but not too dark and kind of glean a little bit of color on the edges. But that head dissipated really quick. It didn't really come out too much to begin with. And what was there? Gone really quick. Not a good sign. Um, and like I said, she's dark. So she looks like a stout in spirit, but that head, man, doesn't really want to be there. You can kind of force it to kind of come on, come back, but she's not long for this world. Let's see if we get a nose on her. Rich chocolate malts, a little bit of bittering, a little bit of sweetness. Um, just somewhere north of kind of like baker's chocolate. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Roasted malts, chocolate. Done. Basic. Not a bad thing, but that head scares me. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's not too bad, honestly. I thought it'd be a little bit more kind of turned because the head knocked off really quick um i just have a bitter astringency outside of what i normally like to be there um but it has to do with the amount of roast in there. there's a big big amount of roast especially considering you're looking at five percent beer it's got a big kind of roast component to those malts and that's where you're getting that kind of astringency from but then there's a bit of kind of a baker's chocolate a little bit of sweetness to it um a bit thin um you know you can kind of tell that was the way it's going to be from the head that's pretty much it um, there's really not much else to it. It kind of reminds me of some of the kind of old world kind, uh, kind of stouts with a bit more kind of roast characteristic to it. Um, it does have a little bit of an, like an ashy kind of cigarette ashy vibe to me um, that goes along with that kind of bittering component, that kind of astringency. That it's not my favorite taste in the world. At the same time, it's not it's not super negative, but it's definitely apparent. It's almost like slightly sulfury. Done and done. You know, then that's probably the biggest kind of knock on it. It's thinness. Is it old? I don't know. I don't actually see a date on the bottle. Um, but you know, 5% stout, unless it's really old. It have a little bit of legs to it, at least for a couple months. Um, but yeah, not too amazing of a beer. But at the same time, it's not offensive by any means. It's just kind of like a little bit discombobulated on the edges. Um, I'd love to try this fresh. I could absolutely see this being a killer beer uh, fresh um it might be a time thing in this i don't know but all in all the way i'm getting it what i'm getting the way i'm experiencing it now not one of the better better low abv stouts that i've had as of late so let's talk about it is it one of the better stouts i've had now uh just kind of with that from that kind of a stringency standpoint that bit of ashiness combined with the kind of flatness on there just kind of misses the mark for me Value availability, no idea. Maybe Jim can chime in on it and leave you with if you like what we like this. Uh, if you like to try, 
different stouts, especially if you can get one of these new. Maybe I'm totally off on the base with this. Maybe it's just a bad bottle. I don't know. But all I can judge is just what's in front of me, and this is what I know now. Um, so it's definitely something I want to revisit to see if it's kind of a beer thing or a time thing or a bottling thing. But where it sits now, I mean, it's really just not a beer. I would really, really clamor to kind of pick up. So there you go. Another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Um, type Massive Beers into the Google. If you want to check me out doing uh, social media stuff, if you want to check me out doing a podcasting thing, you could type in Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, into your favorite podcasting app or the Google. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit better stuff than this one. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>